Hey guys, Barbara here. Filtering your data lets you see exactly what you need to know. Let's have a look. Filtering your data is a powerful way to see and work with a specific set of data in your spreadsheet. You can temporarily hide the data that you don't need to see. However, if you are working in a collaborative environment and you add a filter to the sheet, that filter will be applied to the other people viewing that sheet, which means that that data you have just filtered out will disappear from their view as well. This makes it imperative to know how to use a filter view. When you use the filter view functionality, you can save custom filters that you can turn on at any time and work without affecting the other viewers of the spreadsheet. Let's have a look. Here we have a spreadsheet with expected salaries. If I scroll down, you will see that there are a lot of entries in this data set and the data is from all the provinces in South Africa. If you only want to see the data for one province, you can choose to add a filter and do just that. In order to add a filter, highlight your title row and then head up to this icon over here. This is your filter icon. When you click on it, you will see that each column now has a little filter icon that has been added to it. When you click onto that filter icon, like in this column over here for example, a drop down will appear. Here, you can choose to sort the data from A to Z, or from Z to A. This will sort both numerically and alphabetically. You can sort by colour if you have a number of colours in your sheet. You can filter by condition, by values, or to choose to only see certain data in that column. Here, you can choose to clear all that have been selected and then only select the ones that you want. For example, we will clear all of this away and only choose to see the data for the Eastern Cape. When we select OK, you will see that only the Eastern Cape data is now visible. The only problem with adding a filter in this way is if you are collaborating in a spreadsheet with a colleague, let's see what happens. Here we have a sheet that I am working on, and here we have the sheet that Katlejo is working on. We are both working in different datasets. If I go and add in a filter and filter out the provinces to only see the Eastern Cape, watch what happens here on this sheet. See how that data will disappear for her too? However, if I set up a filter view and work in the data in that filter view, see how only I am seeing the Eastern Cape but Katlejo still sees all of the data in her sheet. When collaborating in a sheet, it is best to set up filter views. Let's see how to do just that. I'll highlight my header row. Just next to the filter icon, you will see a little drop down arrow. Here, you can have the option to create a filter view. Click on that option. You will see that a dark line appears around your sheet. This is showing you that you are in the filter view preview. On the header row, you will see that your filter icons appear. In the top left of this preview is where you can name your filter view. For example, I will start by creating a filter view for Gauteng. I'll head to my filter icon and filter out the other provinces so that only Gauteng appears, and then select OK. I can now work with this data only and it will not affect anyone else viewing the sheet. In the top right hand corner of my filter view, you will see the settings gear. Here, you can rename the filter view, update the range, duplicate it or delete it. Let's close this little filter view using the X in the top right hand corner. You will now be taken back to the main spreadsheet. Another advantage of working with the filter view is that when you create a filter view, it saves it. So when you head to your little drop down again, you will simply be able to select the filter view and your view will change. You can go ahead and create a filter view for every view that you need in your spreadsheet and then simply use the filter view option to see the data that you need. If we look at Katlejo's and my spreadsheet next to each other, you will see that I am working in one filter view and she is working in another. This way, we can each see what we need to. If Katlejo clicks in the little drop down next to her filter icon, you will see that she can see all the filter views that have been created on that sheet, so she won't need to create them, we can simply use them together.